It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. We're going to move this out of the way and then move the tank in. Hunty.
the one with the loud starter. Let's see what's going on. He's going to just start that engine. Okay. Okay, I will. set up from uh, uh, tugboat people over in Louisiana. Got what you mean, what you That's see. much better than having the oil bath, but the oil bath is actually more efficient to use in high dust situations. Yeah. Take you long to get dirty. <laughs> Working under Detroit. So that's probably gonna wobble on that. Drop, drop it down a little bit. to this side but that plate goes around there it's gonna be a little nose heavy but I think it'll stay there okay. well I don't think it can fall but when we come to bring it down I think it's gonna be an issue <laughs>
see this thing here it holds this rear wheel yeah look on the other side it broke all the bolts and this came off well you know it took five of these to kill one tiger wow first guy in point didn't know what happened he just blew up <laughs> and there all the rest of them was scattered out were the tigers just better armored better armor and a gun that was twice as long uh, twice as range. Oh, yeah the only way you, only way this tank could kill a tiger was a rear shot that's correct Okay, yeah, go ahead and start it. Yeah, one at a time. Yep. Okay, the other one. Yep. I found it. Yeah, this engine's making a hell of a racket. Yeah. And here's what I've been putting in. That is not the right stuff. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the engine racket that we're hearing took me a second to trace it and figure out what it is. It's it's actually a very serious issue. Um, it is the flywheel or crankshaft dampener here. Um, it has completely come apart. So if I can get my hand up in here and show you. Not a lot of excess on here. Hang on a second. So that crankshaft dampener there. Look at that. There's all the racket she's making. Which means that the flywheel or the crankshaft isn't balanced on this end at all. Uh, that's a major issue that's got to get fixed. Well, we're changing the oil. There was a little piece of metal on the bottom of the magnetic drain plug, but it was just a part of a cotter key, uh, cotter pin, uh, one leg of it. So I'm not so concerned about that. Um, now we're gonna change this filter up in here. Get that off. It's got a little bit of a fuel leak up there. And that pipe. into that just a little bit. So I have the oil filters off. I'm just doing my non-scientific uh, experiment where I, you know, 
look in there for metal or anything like that, and they both they both look really good. I don't, I don't see any issues with anything internally like that. Uh, I am having an issue with the old O-ring that came out of there. Uh, the new one that came with the filters that he's got, uh, it, it doesn't fit in the hole. It's the diameter's not right. It's not ply or it's too hard. It's not pliable. Um, I think it's a really old stock filter, and the rubber has just gone to crap on it. It's matter of fact, the old one that came out feels more pliable than the one that I'm putting in. So we ordered a couple more new ones that'll be in tomorrow, and then we'll try to get them in. Uh, I'll show you what I got here. So I can get it in until there, and then it's too like too long for it. There's no, you know, there's no compressing it or anything, and it's it's very brittle. Uh, so it's probably gonna end up leaking. So we're ordering a new filter, uh, two new filters. Uh, the one didn't even come with the new O-ring. Uh, only one of the filters that he had here had a. They were both in the box. He ordered them uh, off of eBay, but you don't know how old they are either. But I'm gonna guess that they're you know 30 or 40 years old probably. Uh, and the rubber shows. So we're gonna try and get a new one on there and that, that should help us out there. That's my keychain for the room. It's a tank. Well, I'm here having a blast at the uh, drivetanks.com, working on the tank. Um, hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll have some other real cool video for you. Uh, today was a long day. We're gonna go out for dinner tonight and uh, just got cleaned up here in the hotel and gonna head back over there to for dinner.